Okay. I, I kind of drew that when I got really bored. Well, okay. I'm not going to say the word bored anymore. But here's the thing. I drew that when I had a break between the, my... from one homework assignment to the next. And right now I'm checking Twitter and stuff like that. But, uh, just, there was a lot of, uh, interesting stuff on blog TV, just watching Jay Carl. He's awesome, might I add. If you don't like him. Hmm. Don't know why you wouldn't, but okay. Hey, I could see why some people wouldn't like him. I could see why people like him. That's my personal opinion. I do like watching Jay Carl's videos. Sometimes it could be a little much, but some most most of the time I can handle it. Um, other than that, uh, did a lot of homework. I had to do this. This this book right here. I had to read stuff and look stuff. And lines and scripts are awesome. Anyway, it's a very old book. It was falling apart, so I had to tape it. Did this is the part. And the professor's like, her, I guess it's her, her book. I don't know. I don't really know too, too much. But, uh, by the way, um, Slip Karate Chop, if you see this, happy birthday. Late happy birthday, my bad. It's like 1.45 mountain time. Um, today, uh, what, what do I want to say about today? It was cloudy and windy all day, and then when it came down to it, nothing happened. It was like a tea. And then you go and walk. There's a skateboard. I thought it was a wall. It's usually sitting right there. But it's over. It's over yonder. On that side. Over yonder. Wow. Just came out of Texas. Just kidding. Um. It was really cloudy, like from the time I left my apartment to the time I got back, and then it got really windy, and a bunch of stuff like that happened. Well, the weather was just retarded today, and it couldn't, like, I guess, the way I put it on Facebook is, it's God's way of teasing the skater, and discouraging him to, to go skate, or longboard, longboard, skateboard, rollerblade, whatever, because you'll slip and you don't want to break an arm or break a leg or injure yourself in a horrible way because when you, when it rains it gets real slippy unless you have certain kind of wheels that actually stick to the concrete or whatever you're riding on um oh yeah i got my like cool shirt on it's probably really offensive to a lot of people but i saw this band live and i got to meet the well me and a group of friends got to meet the lead singer we didn't get any pictures of kind of suck, but it was still an experience. We got to see Signature and all that fun crap, and he, he, it's a long story, and I'm not going to bore you with it, but uh, back to the weather, to the weather, don't know why that, that little thing, anyway, who cares, um, the weather today was just, ah, because you, you, it was windy, and it was hard to skate, and then whenever you would go downhill, the wind was pushing you up, and it felt like you were going uphill. And I'm, I'm going to say this now, and I'm going to say it honestly. I am going to quit smoking once and for all. Well, this is going to be the second time, but the, the first time I quit smoking, I quit, and then I lasted 20 days. 20 days, that's pretty good, cold turkey, 20 days, cold turkey, and it was kind of hellish for the first, like, five days, I was irritable, pissed off, I didn't want to, I wanted to go do stuff, um, but now, I, I just, I don't get anything out of cigarettes anymore, I'm gonna quit, um, I say, I'm a lot, what else, but for sure, I am going to quit 100%, and by my 21st birthday this December, I will not have a cigarette. I'm going to start this starting tomorrow, and see if I don't have a cigarette, 
and I'm going to see how I go through the day. I do have two, three classes tomorrow. i got to take my computer, blah, blah, that doesn't matter. Um, I have my communication lab, my economy class, and my theater class is why I have the death of the film in spirit. Or not spirit um, what do you call it? The script. Not skip. I knew it started with an asshole close. Uh, what else? My eyes hurt. I think I have eye drops like right next to me. Probably I'm not going to put any on on camera. But, uh, what else? What else? The whole skating. I'm going to go back to my original subject, is what I'm going to say. Do you have a slope while you're skating? And it's probably not like that, but I'm just saying. It's, you have your slope, and then when the wind, you're you're going downhill on your board, say, so okay, I'm going to demonstrate with, with the damn skateboard. You're going to go down, and then the wind is pushing you back up, so it feels like you're doing this, and you're getting like, you can push, you, you kind of feel going, you kind of feel the, the motion of you going downhill, but then again, it feels like you're doing this thing, and like, like my buddy said, I was like, ah, I really need to build something on campus that, that helps, like, longboarders, because we do have a longboarding club, and we do have a high amount of students who longboard or skateboard or, or ride one of the push scooters, the ones that pulls up, the, the razors, the ones that they used to have whenever you were, you, I got one, my dad got me one when I was a kid, and I'm not gonna lie, he spoiled me as a child, as a kid, he, he did spoil me, um, not one of the reasons why I miss him, but it's just, he, he spoiled both of us, me and my sister, in different ways, got her whatever she wanted, got me whatever I wanted, we'd go to Albuquerque and spend a day and do that kind of stuff. Just spending the time with little kids was, was, is the thing I miss. But, coming back from the, the depressing story, it, it's hard when the wind is pushing, depending on the, the speed and, and strength of the wind, you go downhill and it just feels like you're staying in one spot, like right there, and then you, it, it doesn't, Sometimes it just feels like you're staying like this, and then sometimes it feels like you're pushing uphill, and you get really tired. I had to walk like half of the way back, and it was kind of crazy. But, um, I don't know if I have anything else to say. I got some new music that's, I guess, pretty cool. I'm going to check my Twitter while I tell you. I got, uh, I got the new Ten Years. Can you see? I'm going to check you. I got the new Ten Years. I got the new Trapped, and I got new, who was it, it was, oh, Mushroom Head, Mushroom Head's good, don't get me, I like Mushroom Head's, but not both, they're both really good bands, there's no comparison to either, I don't like how there's the, the fans who are doing it, but anyway, I'm going to get away from that, um, any more, any more things to say, um, if you like watching me, I'm going to probably put this, this is going up on my channel. This is going to be a one-shot thing. It's going to be a little awkward. Awkward! Um, awkward! <laughs> and, uh, uh... I was telling my, my roommate, I have a... I can put a 15-minute video up, I think? Yeah. I only, I've only been talking for 9 minutes. That's crazy. I feel like I've been talking for 9 minutes. Seems like I've only been talking for, like, 2. But, um, one of the things I was telling my friend, I was like, it feels so good and so cool when someone recognizes you from the previous year of going to school on this campus, this campus, the one I go to, and I miss you, I've shown shit of it, whatever, it doesn't matter. But it's crazy, because, like, you'll be in class and you'll recognize someone, but you don't talk to them, and then you turn around and you're like, should I talk to them? I'm, uh, basically, I've been I've been a lot more outgoing this school year than I have well this semester alone. In the combined four semesters that I took in the last two years, it's freshman year it's kind of awkward. It's it's like you are a freshman in high school and you, you 
feel weird because one, you live in the if you live in the dorms, you don't know you, you're supposed to go meet people and then the only person you really know is your roommate and your friends back home and then you get to know your roommate and it's like you're gonna go, I'm not gonna go, and then your friends live across the street from the campus and you go check you go hang out with them all the time and you're never in your dorm and you come back to your yeah, it's it's crazy shit. And you don't know anyone. You you made acquaintances or you you acquaintances and what I mean by the quote is that you never talk to them again. You talk to them once that semester, twice that semester, they recognize you again later on that school year, in the spring semester, and then you're just like, yeah, whatever. And then you continue. There's maybe going to be, there's like, people that I have seen on campus that I recognize, and they seem to recognize me, and it gets weird. It's one of those things. Maybe I should start taking my phone and using that little thing. Oh, nope, nope, not the, my fist. That's, that's the speaker. This. The camera. Maybe I should use the camera and do some stuff and just make a new variety of friends. Who knows? I'm also trying to get... If, if you have any advice to help me, I don't want to say it too loud. I don't want to say it too loud. But the whole thing is, is that my roommate... He's not really good with the whole making friends thing, and if you have any advice, leave it in the comments, or if you want to be fancy and do a video response, um, do that, because that'd be really cool, because I really want to break him out of, you know how, <laughs> this is very nerdy and don't judge me for this, as a kid. You watch Pokemon and they had the Pokeballs and then you know there there was the regular one and it goes up and the different ones and then you go up to the Master Ball and all the other ones, stuff like that. She right now is and I should put this lightly, Pikachu is is the one that is not that, that doesn't like being in the Pokemon in the Pokeball. All the other ones can deal with it. But him himself, he's like he reminds me of a Psyduck being stuck in a Master Ball and cannot ever get out. Or an Ultra Ball and he can't get out. He, I ask him daily, or every other day, when I get really bored, or, damn it, I said it. I didn't want to. But, oh well. When we go to, like, magic tournaments and stuff like that, driving, even though the drive's not that long, it's awkward when it's silent. And the only thing you're listening to is music. Well, I enjoy the music, but other than other than that, I would. The kid doesn't. It, it's just weird. And then you have you haven't met anybody new in your class, and then you're like, no. It's, it's weird to me. Maybe that's just the way he was. That's the way he was brought up. I'm not doubting that. I'm not. I'm not saying that that's horrible. But if if you have any YouTube people. YouTube, anybody, I don't care who you are, if you are cool enough or not douchey enough to actually help me with, help me help my friend, my roommate, I've known this kid since, kid since grade school, played AYSO soccer on the same team like once or twice in a couple of different seasons, it's just, I've known the kid forever, like, like my best friend back home, I've known him forever, and it's the same thing. My mom coached AYSO, my dad coached a little bit, so it was that whole thing. Um, my brother would help me, and oh, yeah, that doesn't matter, AYSO doesn't matter. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is if you can help me help my friend, I've, I've had other friends back home try and help him, try and give me advice to help him. And I, I've lost. say later and talk to you later. Peace.